Hi everyone, it's Nadine from Royal Botanical Gardens and today I'm in my backyard ready to do a little tomato maintenance. Now this time of year, in the peak of the summer, tomatoes just want to keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing as much as they possibly can, especially our indeterminate tomato varieties that will produce fruit all season long. So by pruning our tomatoes, we're going to help keep them nice and healthy, as well as get some really beautiful fruit. So one of the first things that I like to do when I prune my plants is take off all the leaves along the main stem, all the way up to about that first set of fruit. By doing so, you're going to help the plants when it rains especially, to not get splashback on that underside of the leaves. And that's going to help your tomatoes to reduce disease, to reduce mildew. You're also increasing all of the airflow within your tomato patch. And of course, increased airflow is so good for our plants because it does help to reduce the amount of disease that tomatoes are very susceptible to. Cleaning up and removing some of those first leaves on the bottom is also allowing a little bit of sunlight to reach the fruit inside. You can see here, just gonna help to ripen those fruits up. Oh, this one looks like I can eat it right now. In my urban garden, I like to try and keep my tomato plants to one main stem. So just producing one vine that's growing to grow up. And this helps to keep my plants much more manageable in my backyard. And it's also going to stop the plant from producing more and more and more and more vines. Like this one here. So where that main stem meets a leaf, you'll often find what's called a sucker. And you can just pinch those off like that. It's going to help your plant to focus on producing flowers on the one stem that it has, ripening up that fruit, rather than wanting to produce more and more and more and more branches. And about one month before that first fall frost date, I'll chop the top of these tomatoes off so that it stops producing more flowers. And that's going to help the plant to focus on ripening up the fruit that it already has on its body, rather than producing more flowers that might not ripen in time for that first frost. So from inside the tomato patch, make sure to cut all those leaves off up the bottom of the stem. Make sure to pinch off any suckers that are growing. There's one right here. Make sure to keep your tomato vines supported and well watered. Watch out for the dreaded tomato hornworm. As well, you want to top off your tomato plants towards the end of the season so that all the fruit that's still on there has a chance to ripen before it gets too cold. So thanks everybody, happy gardening, and happy tomato season ahead.